All right, everyone, this is Zero Budget Geek, and welcome to Zero Budget Magic Duels. In this episode, we are taking a look at Bitter Splinter. This is a deck designed by Hakeem, who has his own YouTube channel, and he covers uh, you know, decks that he makes, and this is one of the ones that he's made that I really like, and I decided to build it and uh, give it a test run. So let's see this deck in action. Ooh, this is actually a good start. We're gonna keep this hand. Um, we'll go gay first. Evolving Wilds is nice though. I like Evolving Wilds just for you know for its simple, uh, just the fact that it thins, thins your deck out and it fixes your mana. All right. Oh, we're are we facing an aggro deck here? Got these little guys here, and they can be a pain in the butt. We're gonna play Swamp. I'm gonna play Evolutionary Leap now. Next turn, I can play the Perilous Mirror with a Forest, and then I have the option of sacrificing my Mirror if I need to. Which I might do. It's red and white, so it might be enchantment. Puts that guy. He might be a Boros enchantment deck. He's gonna get a bonus there. Uh huh. So it's a weenie aggro deck. We have ways to deal with you. Alright, come on. Hit me for two. That's fine. So uh, what you want to do with this deck is you want to be sure to try to get the maximum effect out of your you know, the creatures. You want to get card advantage. So if you can kill two things, um, I could flesh back Marauder now, but that wouldn't that this would be a little bit better. This Perilous Mirror. Ah, uh, you could. Uh, yeah, I could. Hmm, I could sacrifice it. Kill something, return. But well, let's let's hang on a minute. We're gonna marinate here. We're gonna wait. This deck is all about patience. Um, so I'm I do, and the reason I'm waiting, I'm waiting to see if he tries to enchant something here. The, this mirror may make him wanna stay home with some of his stuff. Place a goblin piker. Is he gonna attack? Hmm. If he doesn't attack, then during his end step, I'm going to sacrifice my mirror. Come on. And if he attacks, I'm gonna block and then use the damage from the mirror to kill something else and get two things. Alright, so he attacks, definitely. We will block one of these guys. Confirm the block. The, my mirror die, his guy will die, and then I'll do two damage to the flyer. He does two damage to me. I could have evolutionary leap, but I don't really need to do that just yet. Right now, I gotta st stem the flow of these creatures here. Now I can. Uh, I'm gonna evolving wilds. I'll use the evolving wilds now. And we'll get, uh, we're gonna get a swamp. And then I could flesh back Marauder, but, uh, we're gonna play the mirror. We're gonna hang on. We're gonna hang on here. Patience is the key. See, I'm looking for him to try to enchant one of these and then if he does like that like that so just making choices uh, he's gonna put on that guy so this is exactly what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna uh, activate my evolutionary leap I'm gonna sacrifice my mirror I'm gonna do the two damage to the goblin piker and then now that felt spell fizzles out. 
and we get <laughs> we get a flashback marauder. So now we can play two flashback marauders back to back that would deal with his creatures there. Um Alright. And you attack me with that. That's fine. See now I've got him to like very little cards in hand and I've got so many options here. I can't build a revelation yet. I still gotta get a hand on what's going on here. Uh wow. Wish I could do the woodland bellower. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're going to play the Fleshbag Marauder. And then when it comes into play, we're gonna activate the Evolutionary Leap and sacrifice it. Ooh, Liliana. And then he's gotta still sacrifice something. And then next turn, I can do it again. So, uh, my uh, Liliana and my Bellor are, are part of my end game strategy. Either one of these help me uh, help me kill my opponent. The Bellor is just really nice. 6-5 makes him uh, survive my own languish. Alright, he'll hit me for 2, putting me down at 10. Uh, and I think I'll probably do the same thing again. Fleshbag Marauder. And sacrifice it. I mean, that... Let's see what we draw into. Get a land here. That's good. Um, I, I wish I could play both. Uh, well, actually, no, I don't. Because then my trick wouldn't work. So, we'll... Um, We'll fleshbag Marauder. And in response to playing our own fleshbag, we'll evolutionary leap. We'll get a creature, something to replace it. <laughs> Gaia's Revenge, nice. And he still has to sacrifice something. Still keeping him down to one creature. I'd like him to be at zero creatures, but if I draw a mana, though, I'll probably put the Woodland Bellower next. If I draw a small creature, then I'll probably play the creature and bone, bone splinters. I could better revelation, but I'm not that crazy about doing that just yet. Come on, you know you want to attack me. All right. I was dreading that he was going to have an enchantment to play on this. Come on. Alright, let's see what we draw. We got... Oh, wow, Nisa. One, two, three, four, five. Not time for her yet. We're going to take a chance. We're going to bid a revelation. And... Oh, I want a cruel revival. I uh, definitely want a cruel revival. And I think we want a Shadows of the Past. So now I can at least crew revival whatever shenanigans he pulls out over there. He puts that Ember Hauler. Damn it. I'll probably crew reviver the Ember Hauler. I'm getting so low on life over here though. I just need like one, one turn where he doesn't play anything. Oh my god, look at the just life difference. Can I pull this out? I don't know. The other thing I could do right now is if he, if I draw a mirror, a mirror would actually save my world right now. And I have four of them and I've lost two of them already. That is not a mirror, but it's a mana that we could use. 
So, Woodland Bellower. Yes, I want to use the ability. I will get... Actually, I might get a Gate Creeper Vine. No, I'll get an Elvish Visionary. Get the Elvish Visionary. Give me a card draw. That's nice there. And then... Let's see what he's got. Show me what you've got. So far, I've not seen any enchantment, so... Maybe it's just a straight aggro deck. And maybe I've turned the tide now? Do we see the player get replaced by AI, Mr. Uh, your AF? I, I have to beat him just for that stupid freaking name. Just for that stupid freaking name, I gotta beat this guy, man. It's not a stupid name. It's not a stupid name. It's actually funny. He puts out that guy. All right, so let's see. I kind of want to put out Nissa, but I gotta kill what he's got over there. So we'll put, mm, yeah, we'll put Nissa. She'll let me search for a forest. Yes, put that in my hand. I will put the force down. And then I have four mana. I really would like to Shadows of the Past. Uh, but I think what we're going to do right now is we're going to put the Elvish Visionary. That'll let me draw a card. And then I'll Bone Split. Actually, we're going to uh, also use uh, Nissa's ability here. I might be putting too more too many cards in my hand. Oh, that mirror is nice. But we're gonna actually bone splinters right now. We're gonna bone splinters. I'm gonna destroy his I'm gonna destroy his 2-1. And I'm gonna sacrifice my little guy there. And I, I really don't want to attack. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I I, I want to be in control. Because I'm so low, I don't want to leave myself open. I want to keep my big hefty blocker here. What has he got? Another Ember Hauler. until hawk uh we have do we have an answer to kill all of that i think we do oh my god are you how long are you gonna take why is he gonna do oh he wants to do the damage to me he wants to do the one point of damage and try to kill me in the air come on confirm the attack I see what he wants to do, um, but now once I stabilize this board, then I can actually start gaining life back with my shadows of the past. He'll ping me for one. You know, and I can actually crew revival and play my flesh bag on the same turn, all on the same turn. So. So let's go ahead and use uh, Nissa right now. Ah! Look at that. Uh, we'll put this. Uh, oh, we'll put a forest out. Cool revival. We'll cool revival. We'll destroy the flyer because we want to make sure that dies. We're gonna bring back. We're actually gonna bring. No, we'll bring back the. We'll bring back the grave digger. Cause I have a, I have a flesh bag marauder in my hand, and then I'll play the flesh bag marauder. 
Now, unfortunately, I still can't attack with my Woodland Bellower because I'm afraid he might have something with haste. Oh, um, come on, you're an F. Alright. And we're not going to attack just yet. Not quite in control, but he's in top... Now he's in top deck mode, so he's in big trouble. He's in big trouble. I think Liliana's gonna make her way to the battlefield now. So we're gonna actually Gaia's Revenge will be. I think it's time to Gaia's Revenge, and yeah, well Gaia's Revenge. Screw it. Uh, let's uh, use this ability. Oh, nice! Puts that into play. Uh, and we could put our mirror out. Actually, I should have put the Gate Creeper Vine. Just to thin out my deck. Uh, throw that out. And we'll attack with that. And there we go. Alright. What answers have you got, UNF? If he draws burn, he can kill me. I think my next thing will be actually my Shadows of the Past. Uh, and I do have the mana to start activating it. That probably should have been the play. Ah, he plays that. Alright, we're gonna Shadows of the Past. We're gonna activate the Shadows of the Past. And that'll put me... A little bit safer range there. Um, and then we will. Ooh, we could Liliana right now. We're gonna. We're gonna do Liliana? We're gonna activate this. Get a Languish. And we'll attack with all of that. What are you going to do? He's not dead yet. Because he can block one. But it's not looking good. So, again, this is definitely very much a patience deck. Bide your time until you can get control and then start smashing. Oh, we're going to put that on the bottom. And this is his last hurrah. This is one last card save him. It does not. So, does he stay to the end or does he quit? Oh, he's staying to the end, looks like. So, we'll attack with all and end it in a blaze of glory. And that's it for you. You're an F. You're a F. Alright, that's it for him. Um, hmm. Ugh. That's not great. Uh, I like these cards. We're gonna draw in your hand, though. This is a little better, but we, we didn't draw into our black, our swamp. Ugh. We'll keep this hand. I, I don't like it, though. I don't wanna... Uh. If we draw one black, though, in the next... Oh, damn it. If we draw a swamp in the next uh, couple turns, then we'll be okay. We'll only need one black to get back online here. And I'm going second, so... Uh, there we go. So we got a swamp. Alright. I feel better now. Um, we're going to put the swamp. And because he does has not put a creature, I think I'm going to go ahead and Shadows of the Past right now. Yeah, I could have put the mirror, but uh, I'm not looking for offense. So if he had played a creature, then I would have probably put the mirror. But because he didn't, I put the Shadow of the Pass. And uh, because most of my little creatures are doomed to die. And so this will let turns all of them into a scry one, which is really, really nice. So we'll put this. Uh, there's nothing to it but to do it. We'll put the mirror.
And we'll end our turn and see what he does. I hope this is not a mill deck, though, because we could have some problems there. If he's a mill deck. He's got a big Drake there. We could uh, Fleshbag Marauder that. And I think that's the play. We got a Languish there. Oh, such a wonderful card. Um, but I think we're going to go ahead and uh, Fleshbag that. So we'll do that. And... Man, I do I want to sacrifice the Mirror? And do damage to his face? Nah. Choose a creature sacrifice. Nah, we'll go... F uh, yeah, we'll... We'll sacrifice the, the flesh bag. Scry one. Uh, oh, yes. We'll leave that on top. Evolutionary Leap. That's our other very powerful enchantment that will do a lot for us. A whole lot. And we can actually attack with this, so why not? Um, this de deck does win by depleting your opponent's life, but it does it in a slow way. To, it is a control deck. So we want to control the battlefield until we get, um, uh, you know, some of our win conditions like Gears Revenge, the Woodland Bellower gets another of these guys. Ah, uh, one, two, three, four. If I draw a oh man, I can cruel revival that. I'd like to do that. Um, oh no, that's right. I had the evolutionary leap there. Um, so I can't kill that now. I could with the language, but oh, I can't even play the language. I don't have the swamp. So we're gonna. Um, I think Evolutionary Leap is my play right here. Uh, let's get that online right now. We want to get that going. I, I could, I could have done the Grave Digger and get my Flesh Bag back, uh, but I really want this Evolutionary Leap uh, going because this is gonna really speed up the deck. And um, if he's playing a control deck, then I'm gonna need, I'm going to need that. I'm gonna need to uh, speed up my uh, plans here. I mean, if this was a two health thing, I'll, I, I'd evolutionary leap my mirror. But. And then he puts that foundry. He'll attack me for two. That's fine. We can take damage with this deck. We're okay taking damage. For, <laughs> for a limited time, though. And what we got here? I would have liked to draw a land. If I had drawn a land, I would have crew revivaled. But, because that didn't happen, we'll play the Gravedigger. And I'll get the Flesh Bag back. Then I can play that next turn and kill. Yep. I'm going to play it next turn and kill his 2-4 uh, Flyer. Maybe. He'll probably... Uh, well, do we attack with this? Yeah, why not? What's he doing? Is he going to do something to return it to my hand? He's got all blue, so he's got nothing to kill it. He does that. Really? That's what you're going to do? That was your response? Okay. I do that, and I'll kill it. So you got... Uh, don't want to put that on top. Uh... You know what? I think I'm going to put that on the bottom. I, I need land. I need land. I need land. Uh, I, I'll, I'll, I'll leave that on top. That's fine. I, I like the card draw. I know it'll give me a creature. But I need the land. I need a land. If I play it, then maybe I can draw into a land there. But, uh... uh hmm... I can, you know, I can flesh back Marauder on my turn, so that's... Uh, yeah. Flesh back Marauder right now is the play. Gets rid of his 2-4 Flyer. What is he gonna do? Ah! Well, we got a trick too, my friend. We got tricks too. Uh, I'm gonna put that on the bottom of my deck. I need a land. Ooh, guys, revenge. Guys, revenge. That's one of our wood conditions there. Um, oh, damn. I played that wrong. Uh, 
I played that wrong. I forgot that trick only works if the Marauder is the only one. Uh, we'll put that on bottom. The trick only works if Marauder is the only one in play. So I kind of screwed myself. Uh, we're gonna leave that on top because we need the land. All right, we're gonna take some damage here. But now next turn, I'll crew revival him and get and it's all right. We can kind of get back on top here. He puts another one of those. It's gonna hit me for three now. I oh with the land I get I could languish. That's a waste though. That's a waste of what for what I'm seeing here. Um. So we'll crew revival. We'll kill that grave digger and then on a uh, yeah. Go for the grave digger. Well, had I known that was going to happen. Alright. Well, this guy's no slouch. So it's a good thing I didn't do that language. Then that would have been a real waste. Real waste. Plays that guy. So we draw. Reef Soul would also be nice. Evolving Wild, we'll use that now. Thin out my deck. Go for a Swamp. We need to slow down this damage that he's got going on here. So I'll Recommission Sage. Should have done that the other way around. Kill that. And then we'll... Oh, uh, hold on. Uh, I want to put down the bottom because that doesn't help me. And we'll Elvish Visionary. See what we draw into. So now we got kind of ha- Ooh, yes! Alright, nice. Alright, now I'm feeling pretty nice here. He does not attack. I have spooked him, I think. So we'll play Nissa. Let's see if he counters her. He doesn't. Oh boy. Oh boy. And then we'll play that. We'll flip her. We'll get to use her ability. Oh yeah. She's just so awesome. Probably the best planeswalker in the game. Uh, uh, let's see here. Reef, so he'll probably pull that back. Let's see. Yep. What he should have. Oh, he didn't have anything. I thought he had 10. Uh, we're going to put that on the bottom. We don't need that now. And. You know, I'd like to play the Gate Creeper Vine. But, uh, well, no, it's fine. It serves the same purpose. Uh, I was going to wait and then maybe sacrifice something with the Evolutionary Leap, but mostly for the purposes of thinning out my deck. Uh, but the Gate Creeper Vine does that anyway, so we'll get a gate here. That's fine. We can actually attack, so we'll attack with all. Why not? Is he going to send some signs? Send them back to my hand, that's fine. Or let you guys die. That's fine too. I'm okay with this. I am totally fine with that play. Because they have served their purpose. And <laughs> it lets me. We're going to leave that on top. Oh, yes. <laughs> we want that on top. I like that guy. I like him. Yeah, you stay on top. Uh, so I could Gravedigger for. What can I Grave Digger for? I can Grave Digger for, well, another Flesh Pack. And I have plenty. Alright, so I, I'm feeling pretty good right now. I'm feeling like we're in pretty good control. What is he going to do? Return non-land permanent to owner's hand. What did he return? I did not see what he returned to his hand. One of his lands? Is that what he did? I don't know... 
that that makes sense. But we're gonna... Oh, he returned Nisa. Which is fine because I play her. He returned Nisa. I'm going to play her again. Thank you. She lets me... I will use the ability. I'll get another forest. Thin out my deck. Some more. I will... I'm actually going to... Hold on a second. Uh, seven or more. Uh, when the land, So I can actually put the Evolving Wilds and that will trigger her. I'm going to use the Evolving Wilds. Get that. We're going to go ahead and Fleshbag Marauder. And this time we'll sacrifice our little uh, thing there. And he's got no move there. Oh, he gets a card from that. Uh, oh, we're going to leave that on top. We like that. That is our end condition there. And we're going to go ahead and use uh, Nisa's ability. that in our hand now and we will marinate we will chill out if he tries to do something like this we sacrifice it for evolutionary leap things are looking good and we're gonna probably get his revenge next turn is next turn the gaia's revenge time is he holding on to counter spells waiting for it gonna disperse what is he gonna go ahead thank you that's fine that is totally fine oh that is bad she is scary uh hold on oh, i'm into evolutionary leap oh i could languish do i want to languish or gay as revenge what is uh counter target sh creature spell unless controller pays two um, that does not help you. Uh, but she could do that. Uh, I could great. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We will grave digger for a flesh bag. Don't want to use the ability. Yes, and a flesh bag will come into play. What are you doing? It's happening. Oh, okay. That's that's fine. She's a creature, creature to sacrifice. I'll sacrifice my flesh bag. And oh, I will leave that on top. Yeah, we're going to leave that on top. That's a nice card to see on top there. We'll put out... Uh, do I need two mana? I do not. So, we'll put out this guild gate. And we'll hang out. So, he's, he's biding his time, but I, I don't know if he can pull this out now. Especially with what I got. He, well, he doesn't know. Cap shows fine. Uh, I think at the before the end of his turn. During his end phase, I think we're going to... Do we want to do that? Uh, yeah, we're going to do... We're going to sacrifice this guy. Oh, we'll leave that on top. Um, let me get a mirror. Alright, we're gonna do this. Uh, we can actually bone splinters. But I think I'm gonna test the waters here and try to Gaia's Revenge him. Or Woodland Bellower. It's got two blue. No, Gaia's Revenge. And we will... Do I have a force left in my deck? I think I do. Let's uh, go ahead into attack phase first. See what happens. 
Now he's in trouble. Now he can't really do anything to the Gaia's Revenge. I think he's screwed. He is screwed. We'll get to Scry. Well, I'll leave it on top. We're gonna Nissa. I don't know how many forests I have left in my deck. Did I? Yes, I want to use it. Down to two, so. And I already played a. Oh, man, that's right. I already played a land on a turn, so I can't flip her. Um, but he's playing blue, so he really doesn't have anything to kill her with. And if he does take her, I can. I have answers to it. The other cool thing about the Gears of Revenge is that they, with the five toughness, it survives the languish. He's gonna tap down my Gaia. That's fine. Really? Oh, because he's planning on blocking this? That That's weird. Is he planning on... No, he can't target this. That's right, he couldn't... Right, he couldn't target the Gaia's. Well, he can't... <laughs> He tried to, uh, he's going to talent on the telepath. That's rough. Uh, what is he going to get out of that? He'll re Sure. That's okay. Uh, I'll put that on the bottom of my deck. That's okay. Waste your time. Uh, do uh, nah. We'll put that on the model. Waste your time with the planeswalker. The planeswalker has done her duty, which was to get me to Gaia's Revenge or the Woodland Bellower. So, eh, <laughs> extra care. I'm, I'm fine with that. We will, uh, be. Let's see here. What will we do? Uh, I think it's the, the Bellower time. I do want to use the ability, and I'll go for an, El an Elvish Visionary to get the card draw. Uh, we'll go ahead and put out this gate. Oh my god, a Perilous Mirror. Sacrifice. Yeah, Perilous Mirror. Sacrifice it, and hit it for 8. Oh, it's only 8 damage. Um, Do I sacrifice that now? Yeah, why not? Let's let's get this going here. Choose a creature sacrifice. I'll sacrifice that. Two damage to that. Uh, we'll put that on the bottom. I don't think there's much more in my deck. <laughs> uh, we'll put that on the bottom. We don't need to better revelations anymore. And we get our heretic. Ooh, nice. All right, and we will go into attack phase and attack and just smash face with that. There's not a lot that he can do. I don't think there's anything he can do with a mono deck here. A mono blue deck against a thing that can't be the target of non-green non-green spells or abilities from non-green sources. So artifacts can affect it. Uh, but I think in Magic Duels, there are no really good... There he goes. He has been replaced by the AI. He knows what's happening. Um, yeah, that does not help him that much. Oh, it does work. Not oh, see, look at that. Why did he quit? Because he knows. He's <laughs> he knows. Um, wow, that got... Holy shit. Uh, but it doesn't matter. We'll get his revenge. I thought about, oh, I can play all this stuff. No, Gaz Revenge has haste. It will attack and finish this game because he's tapped out. He can't do anything. And that's all she wrote for you, Mr. Blades76. But thank you for playing with me, though. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching this episode of Zero Budget Magic Duels. Uh, be sure to go down into the description box to see the deck list for this deck and if you have any questions or comments please uh, leave me a comment let me know what you think and as always like share and subscribe and be sure to check in the upper right hand corner to see the link to other episodes that i've done so guys until next time i'll see you soon